Yo, what's up guys? CJ Polov here and it's the weekend. <laughs> so we have a shorter video today and we're going to do the last part of the Dimash documentary. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe, turn on that notification bell, like this video and let's do this. If you want to become a member, click on join. If you want to support my channel, become a patron and let's go. Dimash show rising new documentary Dimash Kudaibergen. Bro, oh, before we start, <laughs> Salam et Sisbe, Olá, tudo bem? Olá, que tal? Bonjour, ça va? Ciao a tutti, tudo posto? Guten Tag, wie geht's? Moin, moin, uh, handed, apacabar, como está? Hallo, hallo, a salam, chest, aneaseo, domingo, nihao, chungo, dobardan, merhaban, marhaba, sorry, marhaban, mirhaba, namaste, namaskar, sradzvuitse, ahoy, yasu, shalom, siya, zdravo, suwati, sin chao, saubona, lumela, konnichiwa, beisha, pa, buna, zveiki, perchendeche, barev, zez, hey, and howdy, y'all. Now you have all been greeted in your language. <laughs> let's go, guys, let's go. How are you guys doing today? I feel so refreshed. I had a good night's sleep. I woke up. I'm recording this video. This is the only video I'm going to record and the BTS video. So two videos for today and then I'm off <laughs> offline 100% for today. Just chill and have a day off. OK, guys, let's do this. The first time I saw Dimash was at the Oriental Bazaar and I noticed that he was a very talented young man and I remembered his name. And the second time I saw him was at the I Am A Singer competition. He clearly conquered the world with his talent and artistry. I began... This is so nice. These are like pins, right? And it's so... She said um, she remembered Dimash's name. His name is so unique. I mean, at least I've, I've never heard Dimash as a name, um, much less Kudaibergen or Kudaibergen. I don't know if I'm saying that right, even though I've heard many people say it, especially Igor Krutoy. He says Kudaibergen. He says something like that, but I can't. But his name is easy to remember. And then if you match his name with his performance, <laughs> you'll never forget. I began to try to learn more about him. I really admired his creativity. Even before he conquered the Oriental Slavic Bazaar and surprised everyone at the I Am A Singer competitions, Dimash has won many different contests in Kazakhstan, including one of the most prestigious competitions, wow. Jazz Kanat, which paved so many trophies and prizes the way for many talented russian performers but in my opinion dimash was recognized on a global scale after performing at international venues and but in my opinion dimash was recognized on a global scale after performing at international venues in vitebsk yalta and china and this is normal he needs to grow and develop his future path is to go to the west and gradually conquer the planet through the slavic world through the Asian world. When I heard Hanat, I thought it was like his father's competition or something. That's why he he didn't tell his parents. But I don't know. I don't think so. Wow. Keep on going. Keep on trying. That's the thing. When you think everything is good, you relax, you're in your comfort zone. When you think everything is not so good, 
you keep on striving, you keep on trying, you keep on edge, you know, trying to get the best results. That that is that is great. That is a great message. Wise man. Many Wise people man. often asked him about his source of inspiration. He revealed his secret in 2015. Uh -huh. The performance at the Oriental Slavic Bazaar brought even greater fame to the talented artist. The next step for Dimash is the Chinese song competition I Am A Singer. Dimash went to the concert I Am Singer. Dimash went to the I Am a Singer contest and then we witnessed the reaction of the Chinese public. In general, we understood the nature of the contest and how important it was because it immediately spread around the world and received public recognition from all over the world. It was such a bomb that blew up his performance. Everything happened at once. I wonder if, if I'm going to be here in, in the future. Can you imagine I'm watching a documentary and then I just find myself? All the famous star bloggers, the famous artists from different countries started talking about him, about his phenomenon, and until today, continue to admire him. I was on tour in Italy and met with the famous Italian singer Albano. He invited me to his hacienda, Felicita, and there he told me that he admired Dimash and wanted to sing with him in a duet. Wow. Dimash did not win the I Am A Singer contest, but the resounding success lined up a whole queue of world stars who dreamed of singing a duet with him. Immediately after the end of the competition in China, Dimash Kudai began performed a concert in Kazakhstan. Wow. I still can't believe he didn't win, you know, but still. He always remembers his roots. He uses ethnic elements in every show. The singer with a unique voice plans to meet with his fans at home every year. In 2019, in the honor of the anniversary of the Kazakh capital, Dimash prepared his gift. Wait, was he doing a backflip or, or did they have like... Wait a second, let me go back just a second. In the honor of the anniversary of the Kazakh capital, Dimash prepared his... Whoa! Teen. In the honor of the anniversary of the Kazakh capital, Dimash prepared his gift. A mega show. He's a gymnast too. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yes. This is actually a spoiler because I have not seen that one yet because I haven't done an SOS marathon yet. And I was going to do it today, but um, I told you guys I need some rest and I'm doing a shorter video today because I want the SOS performance to be like an hour long or more. You know, I want to I do something really special because I love SOS. It was not the first song I heard from Dimash. You all know the story. But it was the second one, and it was the one that really showed me what I was dealing with, <laughs> what I had just discovered. Because the first time I saw um, Dimash, I was so confused. I was like, wait, wait, this can't be possible. And then I did the same thing, 
which would be go and watch his most viewed video to see um, what people are actually um, promoting. And I was like, whoa. And I haven't stopped reacting to him ever since. So I need to do a SOS marathon and it needs to be special. I have done an unforgettable day marathon, but the SOS special, I need time to make it, you know, count. In the same dressing room, on the eve of the big concert in Kazakhstan's capital, Dimash shares his fears. Remember when he sang and his father was in the audience? His father was like, let me hide, because if I show myself, this was in the I Am Sing a Singer show, if I show myself, he's going to get distracted. And as soon as he um, finished his performance, his dad showed up and he was like, uh, and then he was like, oh, you know, he had a, a certain reaction as soon as he saw his father. And then he thanked everybody. He went backstage. He talked to his father. It was so cool. It's, it's somewhere in my channel if you want to go watch that future program is to go on a second tour one of the main locations of the tour is new york несколько часов назад завершился первый сольный концерт димаша кудайбергена в нью-йорке на знаменитой арене парклайс центр где выступали такие звезды как мадонна бьонсе ариана пол маккарт и другие казахстанский певец представил программу арнау a world star without reference to any country. He is considered as a big star in China. He also received a proposal to represent Russia at one of the most prestigious vocal competitions. But he... I mean, to be compared... Uh, nobody... I, I mean, you're not being compared, uh, what I'm saying. Cause there's a thing on YouTube that they're... Ah, oh, you can't compare the artist. I know, but to be at the same level or in the same sentence as those people that the presenter said, it's, it's already an honor, so... You know, and I'm sure Dimash is going to be world, uh, worldwide hit. Um, he's going to take over the... He already is a worldwide hit, but I'm saying, like, you know, a legend. He's going to be that um, as soon as he takes over the U.S. market. Because that, unfortunately, um, people normally... The the world is influenced by, by um, one single industry. And as soon as he takes over that industry then it's going to blow up his modesty and education background do not allow him to do that he doesn't like praises very much because he believes that he has not earned it yet however his name is already on the list with the legendary frank sinatra and elvis presley wow his singing is appreciated not only by his first vocal coach marat itimov many leading music experts are interested in his voice and ability they post their ratings on social media platforms and on youtube the way that he executed that was like this like i saw this vocal coach talking about the um about her being, I remember, I didn't watch the this documentary, but I saw this vocal coach. She made a vlog reacting to herself, reacting to Dimash, reacting to her. <laughs> like a tiger pouncing on its prey. I am here and I'm gonna get that note. I'm owning that sucker. And he did. So his technique was awesome, but also the amount of courage it takes to go for that wide of a note in front of a big audience is huge. Mad props to him for that. That was awesome.
it was, you know, basically it was almost 100% perfect. Um, the singers that are able to do that, it shows that they have unbelievable agility to their voices, that they're able to go so heavy so into cool. their voices, back off, and without ever, you know, having their voice glitch at all. So definitely uh, an amazing singer, this uh, Dimash is. Okay. I don't know if my opinion matters enough to be in a Dimash documentary, but wouldn't that be cool if one day I was there? That would be cool. How do you like the moment that is called Canto Therapy, which Dimash has created? When people come from distant countries and they admit that they were cured from a certain sickness because they listen to Dimash's songs. I think he has already created this phenomenon. Cool. Anita Ray Ward from New Zealand is not just one of the dears. Her story is a real miracle. She had a complex form of kidney cancer. She heard Dimash's wow. incredible voice on the internet and she began to search about the singer and where does he live. She decided that she must see him in real life. She has been preparing for this moment for several months. She began to monitor her health and decided That's to so cross cute. six countries with small stops until she reached Kazakhstan. She was met by Dimash's family in Kazakhstan. Anita Rai Ward became an honored guest in the artist's house. And upon returning home to New Zealand, she surprised the doctors with her health condition, which oh. has magically improved. Anita Rai Ward has started Dimash's fan club in New Zealand. <laughs> No, of course not. But I think when people feel better, they, you know, I mean, when you're anxious, you feel bad, you get sick. When you feel better, you get better, right? And Dimash makes people feel better. Cool. Өзінің <gülüyor> Dimash currently has made that's a good message that's a very good message and I love artists that spread positivity so very good any plans he does not only want to sing he believes that he should constantly develop himself he would like to further his education in the future since he has completed his graduate master's program. He only oh. has to complete the doctoral studies now. Studying in university gives a great advantage because he can communicate with other young people and be creative He's while smart. studying. He's it super is necessary smart. to learn throughout life. Probably these qualities would help him to go further and grow. We are thinking that maybe he could join the Los Angeles Institute of Music or Harvard University or other famous institutions in the world. Yes, Harvard, invite him. Like, as an honorary student, do it, do it now, do it now. <laughs> I think he is interested in it because Dimash is the kind of person who wants to continue improving himself and discover something new. There are many ways to look at Dimash's work, what he has achieved and what he has yet to achieve. It is difficult to predict. It is all in the future. Today, the whole world has already recognized the Kazakh language through his song. Oh, that's the end. Thanks for watching. Please like and Bye.
Amazing. A great documentary. Guys, thank you for sticking around for this documentary. Wow. So many new things about um, Dimash. And I love what he's doing. I, I really, really, really hope that um, his... If he actually goes to the US, um, he is surrounded by good people and good managers and, and good people from the industry and, you know, guide him and give him a good chance to become a huge legend. You know, um, like they mentioned, he, he's he's on the same list as um, Frank Sinatra already. And wow, you know, and he's singing with Andrea Bocelli and oh, man. You know, he's already huge, so I can't I can't start to imagine what it's going to be like five years from now. Oh, well, I hope you guys um, enjoyed my reaction. Let's go spend some time with the family like this video and subscribe. And I hope you guys, well, enjoy your day, your evening, your afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. Keep it real. Bye bye. Take care now.